Welcome one and all to Mrs. K's way of finding the least common multiple and we are going to do this today using lists of multiples in order to find those. We're going to be talking about finding the least common multiple in three different ways. First we're going to be talking about what are multiples, that keyword right there, multiples, what is it and how do we use it? Well, we are going to use those multiples to then find what the least common multiple is. So we're going to define that. And then last but not least, we're going to do an example of finding the least common multiple, which we also uh, refer to as LCM for least common multiple. Let's first start at defining multiples. Multiple is the product of a number and another non-zero whole number. Now remember, a product is the result of a multiplication problem. Since it's a result of two numbers being multiplied, the product itself is what the multiple is. Let's take a look at the multiples of 4. If I'm looking at the multiples of 4, I can see in a few of these right away, I can take the number 4 in various multiple cases and I can multiply it by any non-zero whole number, or any number that's not zero. Here I multiplied by 1, by 2, by 3, and by 4, and I got 4, 8, 12, and 16. Traditionally, I would go in order, and next I would do 4 times 5 and 4 times 6. However, I do want to go out of order real quick, just to show you that 4 times 10 gives me 40, and 4 times 12 gives me 48. 40 and 48 are still multiples of 4, even though I didn't go in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us our answer that our multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 48, etc. Now the reason I have these dots is because there are still other numbers between 4 and 10 that 4 can be multiplied by. Actually, 4 can be multiplied by any whole number. Thus, there are infinite amount of multiples for each number. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 600, 600,000. I can multiply 4 by any number, thus I have an infinite or an endless amount of multiples. So then what's the least common multiple? Well, as we said, there are infinite amount of multiples, but what we want to do here is when we are trying to find the least common multiple, we're looking for the smallest number other than 0, that is a multiple of two or more given numbers. So remember the word least, meaning the smallest, common, what they have, that they both have that's the same, and the multiple as in whatever they are multiplied together, what the result is if they have a common same multiple. So let's look at an example. So for example, I rewrote our definition at the top here of least common multiple. Remember, we also refer that to as LCM for least common multiple. And let's look at an example. Find the least common multiple of 6 and of 8. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find all of the common multiple or all the multiples of 6, which we see here is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and so on. And then I also want to try to find the list of common multiples of 8. And I see here I have 8, 16, 24, and so on. So because we are looking for the C or the common multiple, so we want to find what multiples of 6 and multiples of 8 are the same. Now if I look here, I can see that they both have a 48 in common as well as a 24. Now what we are doing here is we are now going to be looking at that L or that least amount, the smallest number that they have in common. So if we're looking here between 24 and 48, 24 is the largest number, thus the least common multiple of 6 and 8 will be 24. Now, why we're looking at the least amount is because, remember, there is infinite amount of multiples for each number, which means that there will also be an infinite amount of common multiples. We don't want to have to go on forever and ever and ever. We want to just try to find that one smallest number that our two numbers, 6 and 8, have in common. 
and for this one, it's 24. Here's a picture of my puppy Callie when she had a little bit of an ear infection and a little small cut on her ear. She was in a cone for about a month, but even though she was in a cone, she definitely was not shy, and she looks like a big old couch potato. Well, thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.